Okay. And then, and then finally, you know, keeping the jobs productive and making them happen. That's all. It's all part of the culture that we're going to be talking about. When I first got to uh, get out into that shop. And I, and I drove the big flatbed Ford F550. I thought that was cool, man. It's a big stick shift. You had to climb a couple steps to get up there. I pulled into the end of the fabrication shop, and the, the overhead crane was in my way. So I reached out the window, and I grabbed the controller, and I moved the overhead crane out of my way. And I opened the door to the truck. I made those few steps down. And like a pendulum, here comes that big crane block, right? With the little bolt that holds the shivs together, if you ever worked in a fab shop, that bolt caught me right here in the forehead. And I was almost knocked out. And I, you know, my knees bent a little bit, and I said, oh man, I'm fixing to pass out here. But then I did that other thing that we all do when we do something stupid. I looked around, who saw this? And, and nobody saw it, so I was, I was good. I was still a little uh, weak at the knees, but I was, but I was good. So uh, another mistake, once I got out into the field, we actually erected steel at power plants. And I got out there to the field, and I'm up in, on this uh, big building, high-rise building. This is 19, about 1997, I'm thinking, 96. Full-body harnesses had just become the norm, and 100% fall protection had just become the norm. And so I'm learning to use a harness, and nobody in the industry really was good at it. And I saw a couple of iron workers above me. They were taking the, their lanyards and dragging grading over to put it in place. And so I needed to move a piece of grating so I could work on the structural steel below. I hooked my harness to that and I pulled that grating and then nose dived into the hole with me tied to it. Now I, I wasn't as big as, I, now I could probably be a counterweight, but then I was a, a skinnier feller that could climb steel. And when that grating took that nose dive into that hole and I'm tied to it, I'm 200 feet in the air, I'm staring death in the face. And I screamed for help and a few of my friends. In fact, I've lived long enough now that my 24-year-old boy uh, is working in construction. He went to a job site and one of the, one of the supervisors said, I saved your dad's life. And, and sure enough, that's one of the gentlemen that came over to my rescue and pulled the grating, helped me grab a hold of those lanyards and bring that grating back up to there. So I'm sure none of you have made stupid mistakes like that that could have cost you your life. But, but, but I did. And, and so I look back on that and I think, you know, we got to be careful, we got to be concerned, we got to think about what we're doing so that we can uh, have a safe culture. 